So Samsung's been rolling out performance updates for the Galaxy S5 and as always these updates are rolled out via regions in stages. So while a few regions have got the update right now there are a lot of us who haven't received it yet. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to flash this uh, performance update manually onto your Galaxy S5 uh, SMG900H that is the Exynos variant. So if you do have a SMG 900F, that's the Snapdragon variant, I've got a separate video showing you how to do this process. I'll leave a link to that video right below the like button in the description, so feel free to check that out. So again, to reiterate, this video would work only with the SMG 900H, that's the Exynos variant. So uh, the first thing you need to do is click on the download section in the description, uh, the link one from the download section would take you to this page where you can download Samsung keys from. Download it, keys 3, download it, install it, and exit it. Make sure it's not running in the background. So this is to help the uh, phone communicate with the PC and vice versa. So link 2 will take you to this page. Download Odin, save it on your PC. Link 3 will take you to this page, uh, sammobile.com slash firmwares. So over here, just scroll down, select smartphone, Android, and SMG900H, Galaxy S5. And select top 10 latest so over here you'd find those ending u1 ang3 that's the performance update so as of the time of me shooting this video it's been launched in four regions indonesia vietnam cambodia and kazakhstan so uh, i'm going to choose indonesia here and just click on it download it and save it onto any folder on your pc so this is the file you download from link 2. This is the file you download from link 3. It doesn't really ma matter which countries from where you're downloading. The biggest differences are going to be a few preloaded apps, uh, a, a few apps that come bundled with the phone, uh, barring that the, nothing's going to change. So right now, right click on Odin, extract it, and right click on the zip file that we downloaded, extract that as well. So on your Galaxy S5, just to double check your model number, quickly go into settings, general, about device and make sure that it's SMG 900H alright so once you've done that just go ahead back up everything on all the apps and data on your phone uh, this process will not wipe your data and since this is official Samsung firmware which has been signed by Samsung themselves this will not trip your Nox, Nox counter so this will not affect your warranty as well so right now uh, once you've backed up everything and like I said it, it would not wipe your data but uh, just to, it's better to be safe so just back it up anyway and go ahead turn your phone off so just wait for the capacitive keys to go off okay the phone's off so right now uh, hold down volume power and home at the same time and here select volume up to continue and that gets us to the download mode so now connect your phone to the PC with a micro USB cable. And we can let the phone, the Galaxy S5, remain. So quickly jumping back to the PC, right click on Odin, select run as administrator. So now as long as you've installed keys prior to this, this would turn blue. So now select AP and navigate to wherever it is that uh, you extracted this file, the zip file that you downloaded from link 3. Once you extract it, you'd get a file ending .tar.md5. So select that. Odin might seem unresponsive for a few seconds, so just give it time and it would uh, it would get responsive again. So just give it a few seconds. So all right, uh, right now make sure that a repartition is unchecked and it's on the auto reboot and F dot reset time that are checked and click start. So on your Galaxy S5, you'd see the downloading mode and you'll see a little progress bar over here. Uh, it will take about five to 10 minutes for it to for this process to complete. I'll be back with you guys once it's done. So guys, once you see this blue reset over here, you're done with the PC part of this tutorial. We now get to the phone. And as you can see, there is this little green Android over here and uh, a progress bar. Wait for it to complete and your Galaxy S5 will boot back up. So remember the boot, a boot after a flash is always uh, going to be long, it's going to take longer than your regular boot time. So give it a few minutes and your Galaxy S5 should be back up. So guys, we're up. So quickly going into settings, 
general about device and as you can see we've now been upgraded to the ang3 the one ending ang3 so so i guess that's pretty much it for this quick little tutorial on how to uh, flash the performance update from samsung manually onto your smg 900h if you run into any issues or if you have any queries please do let us know in the comments below and if you found this video useful if you liked it please do give this video a thumbs up and for more videos like these do stay subscribed so i guess that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching till next time this is ashia from c4e tech signing off you guys have a great day bye bye now